Hey there, I'm JB and welcome to Orange County Kingdom. For today, we're going to build a potato slash spices farm with a market stall somewhere right over there. Also, I wonder if you can guess now in the comment section what you think lays beneath the well and then we will see at the end of the episode if you guessed it correct. Yes, I really got something down there. But the perfect spot in my eyes is right down over here. I can just see it already with a little home, a little market stall where people can buy the potatoes or spices or something else unique. Which in this case, I'm gonna imagine that this little sandy part right down here is where the market stall could be standing. We could have like a door right down here, have like a tiny little bit of a front yard right down here. And then of course, go through the house in the back, we will have the potato slash spices farm. Now, of course, the first thing that I would like to do is set up an area which I'm going to need to flatten out for a little bit. Okay, so for now, I've got eight squares and I first would like to place down the house. Then I'm going to see how much I can do for the farm itself. If need, I can always attach another two squares for the farm. But right now, I'm going to get rid of all of the stones within. And so once again, you can definitely see the difference between this piece of ground and this piece of ground being very, very smooth. And now it is time to get into the editor. But before doing that, I just want to see how large this piece of space is right down here gonna be two of these wide i just want to keep that in mind and anything else will be fine and this side here about three i think that is all i need to know for now so i got two of these things placed down we got the pathway of sand that goes near it and then it has like a little cut out of sand right into the grass which basically means i could make a good use of it to make the market stand and or the spacing that is uh, in that area near it is a little bit like this big. Now, of course, we don't have to use everything. It's, I think, mostly important that we focus on this part rather than on this part. And or I'm going to need to make a couple of little examples of how I would like to have the housing. I mean, I could be doing something like this. Then this would be a large separate room from the private area have two different doors one in here one in here we're gonna have like a big window that if certain products are being made they are ready they can be delivered to the market stand this will be the working area for production repairing and all that good stuff then have a wall between in here like that it's gonna be like an outside sitting place with a roof on top have like a door here, have like a door here, and have like a door here. So there's a lot of dooring, but I was also thinking maybe you can also make it a little bit separate from each other. Have the house a little bit more squarish, give it its own uh, place to sit, and make it a little bit like one floor. A couple of rooms in there could even do something like that to just give it a little bit more of shape and have this its own separate working area. And then for an example, market stand something like that might also be a good idea now if i look at the two total overview of these ideas i think i rather like this a lot more and this could also fit in very much with blocks that i've been placing actually now the first thing that i would like to make and check out with the character is actually make the market stand itself it needs to be a solid market stand so not something you build up, break down at the end of the day and move on to the next city. I'm first going to guys down here and then just see, you know, the height to get a little bit of a feeling. You know, I think this would actually be fine if it's about the spacing between the character and the lowest hanging point that, you know, if you jump, you crash your head against it. And then you can also say, yeah, JP, why don't you just take a character like that with a high hat on so you can also check it. It's also a very good idea. Thank you very much. Now, then I would like to take a look at if it's even in here, though. Yeah, there we go. Because the awning has like this, I don't know, this type of deal that could fit for a market. Now, of course, the side, we're going to need to do something about that. Uh, but I'll guess this will do the job. Now, I would like to have a, a top part, too, that's going to need to be inclined. 
It's only a shame that we don't have pieces where we also got this stuff hanging underneath. But I'll guess the whole point of this is to do it like that. All right, cool. So we have the height, got the, the width and the whole size. Coming up next, I guess I need to do something like this. Uh, we will have to add in some beams on top. Uh, yes, it's going to look very simple. I've been talking about that before. Like, I'd rather have performance than, you know, making it look like real life type of deal. Now, I do kind of feel like we are missing some bits and pieces that we can use you know, underneath here, for example. I mean, if I would use this one, then it doesn't look good right down there. And bottom part also doesn't look very good. It's in this case, there is one thing I can do, like a print screen of that and then, you know, show it to the developers in the missing block list. But for now, I'm just going to accept it. There is nothing I can do about that. Now, just in case to not get distracted by all of the stuff down there, I'm just going to place this guy out here and I'm going to colorize it. And you know what? I think this will do. This is not like a super bright white and not like a super bright red. This case, there's a little bit of yellow in it, and here's a little bit more white in it if you would compare it with this one. And I guess a little bit lesser dark brown. Oh, now it is time to add in some goodies onto this. Which in this case, I'm going to recommend myself to just take a little look at what kind of stuff we have first. Now, most important, you're going to need to have potatoes. And I'll cast one of these large pants, we definitely do too. If I press the correct button, there we go, beautiful. I guess a closet clay pot for whatever. Going to need to have some spices, which in this case, I am going to change the back into a darker color. I'm going to leave one red at least. I'm going to make one, also one is going to be yellow, I wanted to say, which if I choose the correct one, it will be that one. And now clearly see we've got like different kind of spices going on. I'm going to make this color a little bit more darker. We could definitely use also some dishes. And of course not to forget some french fries because you know, potato. Now I can imagine back in the days they didn't really have these uh, plastic, what, what, what do you call such a thing. So I'm just going to put it in something brown with this carton or whatever or maybe even clay. Now, I do have pumpkin soup, but I'm basically wondering, can we actually, say, change this color to a nice bright red, and it will be all covered up? There you go, because we have, like, ketchup, which I cannot change the color. Which, now I'm thinking of it, we should actually have some ketchup plants. Very good. Uh, tomato plants. That is in the game. Is it? Must be, right? No, we don't have... Tomato plants. Yeah, very good. Yeah, that's getting closer. All right, cool. I got some ketchup. I'm going to make this clay ball also this color. That one. Beautiful, beautiful. We're getting there with our stuff. Another thing that I could think of is paper. And uh, the paper, I want to make it this kind of color. Like, stack something up. I'm going to rotate that one around. Something like that will be fine. Now, of course, money needs to be stored in something. So we're going to grab a jewel box, if that is possible, by the way, because I can remember there was something with this. Maybe I thought it was like a inventory container, which it's not. And I'm just going to make this completely metal-ish like that. And last for now, but not least, is a cutting board. And so I think we kind of getting there with having some basic stuff that we could use for our stand. And you know what? I think this is going to work pretty well. I really like it. I got some products made right down here. Here we got a cutting board. Got some of this stuff in order to make the fries. We got a pan. We got the cast register. Just simple. And yes, I have not been using all of the pieces, but for now, I like it. You know, I think it's gonna be, you know, real nice if we're gonna fix it like that. I'm gonna keep the house simple. I'm not going to fill in a whole interior type of deal. Maybe I just have to see because the more stuff, the more things, the more it's gonna eat my FPS at some point. And I don't wanna sit here with a half baked village 
Right, and there we have it, the farmhouse and a little workshop right down here. Yes, I boarded up the windows with, you know, curtains you can imagine. And or I got window covers. Now once again, the reason why I don't sink them into the wall to make it like nice thin little planks is because I want to try and avoid this season as much as possible. No clipping stuff into each other to test the game to its max to see what I can build. And I really like these things because this is also a typical Dutch type of deal to have it with this pattern on it and the colors white and red. And it kind of matches the stall down here. Alright my fellow potatoes, it is now time to place some of this good stuff down. Of course it is a little bit hilly here and there so I'm going to need to play around with this a little bit and or yeah in the end landscape which is not a bad thing to do actually and i'm just gonna roughly place this guy right down there no regrets at all or well, maybe let's just take a little look and uh, yes i do have regrets because it's facing the wrong way i think it was something like that no regrets okay so let's see yeah i think this is just a perfect height for that perfect height for this yeah, that, that's uh, absolutely nice. Now, gladly, in this game, you can set up three different things. Uh, which, in this case, let's just see if we can place this house down. Place it here for a second. Got enough space on this side. This side is pretty much picked in. That is not okay. Maybe I should keep, keep it a little bit like that. I mean, I, I have the freedom to play sand and remove sand anyways. I could make like a little garden fence, cover this part up with uh, grass, which it will turn light green, and then dig out a little bit of sand further ahead. Now down here, it's probably enough that I cannot see... Well, I can see it here. Hey, I am gonna dig it out, and you sometimes see that with houses in mountain, they just dig out a pathway around it. Uh, border it up with stone or wood or whatever and then have like a little staircase going up to where they need to be and then the final product also turn around now this guy however uh, that is also stupid of me uh, it's okay the reason why i say that is because this stone here should have been down there but it's a lesson learned you know sometimes you just gotta sit down be silent for a moment just enjoy the view it's very relaxing and very healthy anyways i have been doing some stuff that i wanted to do for this episode and you know let me just give you a quick tour of that and after that we're gonna go into the well and see what lays beneath the well <laughs> all right so of course it is by far not done just yet i already have some changes in mind that i would like to do and of course tiny little details here and there is something that i want to place around to just give that little finishing touch however this is something that i'm going to do off camera throughout the upcoming two days that it's weekend and i'm just gonna look and see what i can do also suggestions are of course very much welcome so for right now the market stand is just standing in its own garden the fence is just moved up and uh, i'm just loving stuff that is on here now of course the fence is by the way a little bit outside of the area that i thought i wanted to have so you can see here this was the line and it's outside there so i do uh, mess around with the ground a little bit here on this side let me just see it's perfectly on the line so yeah i did need it all of the space and a little bit more now at the side where i had to dig out some stuff you know, at first I wanted to have it like like a piece of a wall and then have the dirt against the wall. But in islands it never looked that good because there is always ah, some dirt missing between, you know, the wall and the ground to say. If you play this game a lot, you exactly know what I'm talking about. Or else you need to make the wall like super duper tech. And in this case, this is a farm. It's not going to look that amazing. So I thought, no, why not just make it like this with the rake? need a little bit more work and it did take a lot of work to do uh, but it, it will fit in it definitely fit in I also right down here just did it simple like this and go up here and have the farm now I've been saying I want to change some stuff already which in this case 
Once these guys are ripe, I'm going to cut them all down and I will actually place them along this edge down here, the other side, and then anything else will be filled up with potato. Now I also have to be honest that I didn't talk everything, instead, you know, I made it a little bit smaller because, you know, you can plant a lot of potatoes in here in the end, right? And what I would also like to do in the future is make more farms and make use of all of this grassland towards the coast to make farmland out of it. All its own unique type of deal and its own storyline, of course. Now I've also been thinking, hmm, you know, maybe I should make like a, a, a sand pathway towards the beach and then on both sides of the pathway Make some nice ginormous type of tree that you're just walking under a roof of leaves and that kind of stuff Go towards beach And then on this side another farm You know I think it's gonna be uh, Looking very nice in the end But yeah, there we have it A potato slash spicy farm That sells all kinds of potato products And also these guys And for the one who still doesn't get it Let me just show you what is or what lies beneath the well because that was the error I've been making I've been saying what lays beneath the well English is not my main language and uh, yeah you will be surprised what lays beneath the well there we have it a ginormous bag of lay paprika flavor chips and that's why ladies and gentlemen we made the potato farm today Including, of course, some spices, red, green, and in this case, not yellow, because don't put yellow in there, but yeah, I thought it would be a, a good joke, so for the people who guessed it correct, congratulations, uh, Captain Miseraji, thank you for the idea on this, and who knows, I will make more of this silly stuff into the future with things that I've been saying wrong. Now, of course, tomorrow, 8 p.m. CET, we're going to do another Island Community Multiplayer stream. I hope it's going to be just as much as fun as last week and the week before and the week before that. I hope to see you guys there. All right, only if I could detail this back a little bit more like the back beneath the well. Would have been fun, right? But yeah, these are little lay back of chips. Here we have the, um, <laughs> spices for it. I also think this worked out pretty well, so you just make this paper, you make like a little...